in the matter of personal development. Learn the story of the seasons. There's three parts, though, to personal development. Here they are. Number one, the physical part. Herbalife's extraordinary products, both for nourishment, maintaining your weight control, nourishing the body, now dermogenics for the outside. First part of personal development is physical. Here's an important thing to remember. The, mo the body and the mind work together. You might have ideas, you might have ambition, things you want to accomplish, but here's what the body has to be, a good support system to make your dreams come true. That's why Herbalife plays such an incredible role in its nourishment, giving you the health, giving you the vitality, giving you the energy, giving you the vigor. One ancient phrase said this, treat your body like a temple, something you take extremely good care of. Mark got interested in that all those years ago and has never deviated from that. The best to nourish the body. Why? You got to have a good physical support system if you want to make your dreams come true. Sometimes you wake up in the morning, the mind says, let's go get them. And the body says, I can't get out of bed. You just got to say, body, that's the last time. I'll walk you around the block until you've got the muscles. I'll take you to the gym until you're strong. I'll you know, put an extra couple of shakes down you until you get vital and fit, I'm telling you. <laughs> Nourish the body. Habits you've got that are gonna be destructive, I'm telling you, minimize those to the best of your ability so that you'll have a body that will take you places you wanna go, make your dreams come true that will have the vitality and the power, the influence. Now there's another part to the physical, and that's physical appearance. Not only should you look good or feel good, you got to look good. Physical appearance, I'm telling you, is part of, part of success. You say, well, people shouldn't judge you by your appearance. Let me give you a clue. They do. They do. Now, of course, when people get to know you, they'll judge you by more than what they see. But at first, they're going to take a look. And here's some of the best advice I've got. Make sure the outside of your physical appearance is a true reflection of the inside. Make sure you work on that. As you appear on the outside, let that be a good indication of what's going on in your heart, what's going on in your head, what's going on in your soul. So take care of the physical. Now here's the second part, the spiritual. I'm not here to win anyone to my point of view, but I do happen to believe in human spirituality, that we're not just animals, an advanced form of the animal kingdom. We're a special creation. <clears throat> I happen to be a believer. I'm not here to persuade you to my personal belief. But if you are a believer, don't neglect, study and practice your spirituality. Pay attention. Let it grow. Let it be a vital part of your life and your future. Don't neglect. Key phrase. One of the greatest reasons why people don't have what they want, they simply neglect. They neglect the small things. They neglect the details. They neglect daily operation. They neglect consistency. Don't let neglect grab you by the throat, keep you in the shadows while others are walking into the sunlight. And here's an important one. one number one, don't neglect nourishment. Number two, don't neglect physical experience appearance and number three don't neglect your spirituality now here's the next one that's the mind one of the reasons we came to this extravaganza was to celebrate yes it was to exchange ideas yes it was to get to know each other yes but here's one of the most important reasons for being at extravaganza and that was to have a mental feast things to ponder there's an ancient script that says humans cannot live on food alone. And here was the addition to that statement, humans cannot live just on food. Animals can, dogs can, alligators can, spiders can, but humans cannot live just on food. Here's what it says. Humans also have to have words, words that nourish the mind. 
words that nourish the soul, words that nourish the spirit. And I've been so pleased as I've sat here day after day from the planning meetings to the president's team to the chairman's class to all of the training that's gone on here the last two or three days, you have had an incredible diet of good words. I'm asking you to treasure those words. I'm asking you to let those words affect your thoughts. Let it affect your mind. Let it affect your goals. Let it affect your intensity for the future. Good words. Words, one ancient prophet said, are like a lamp for your feet so you can see where to walk and a light for your pathway so you can see where to go. Thank God for the words that formulated Mark's dream 15 years ago. Thank God for the training of the president's team that crisscrossed the world. Thank God for every class that's being held on Saturday morning, the training classes, words that are spread out now all around the world, words of hope, words of encouragement, words of life. Let your mind be fed with all good words. And then here's the next one. Make sure you deliver good words. There's people in the dark until you get there with your words. People will be unhealthy until you arrive. They won't know where to go until you come and show them the way. A lot of people are gonna be lost until you're out there saying, hey, I've got a light, come my way. I can show you how to get out. I can show you how to get out of a bad situation. I got a way out. And let your words shine. Let your words be life. Let them be bread and let them be light. You're the light of the world.